So I've got a problem. I'm having a hard time putting the 11 Pro Max down. After a month using this phone, I love it. And let me explain why in this video. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology, iPhone 11 Pro Max. I've had this thing just about a month and I gotta say right off from the start, what's up with the demand on this phone? This is a 512 gig at $1,500 here you can see in the States. This is even more in other countries, but one to two weeks shipping? Like what is going on with this phone right here? I think Apple might have under predicted the uh, demand of this device, but I think anytime you change the design just a little bit, that's enough to make people go wild for a new phone, even though this is pretty similar to the 10s Max. The cameras make it look a little bit different. The new color makes it stand out, so I think that explains it. But for me, why I've come to love this phone is mostly for hardware reasons. They're not really software reasons. I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you what those are. So the first one is this matte textured rear. Now, I review a lot of phones and a lot of them get dirty in usage. Now, I haven't had to use this rag that much besides what you've seen in the intro, cleaning the camera, because this back is just so clean all the time. You get maybe like a little dust lint on there or something like that, but just cleaning the back of these pros is just something you don't have to do that often. The Apple logo does get a little smudgy, so from time to time I just go like that, but really it's basically no maintenance when it comes to the hardware of this phone on the rear, which I do like. Now on the front of this device, you can see that we do have to clean the screen from time to time as with any smartphone, but the textured rear is just fantastic. Really love that about the 11 Pro Max. So the second thing I'm really loving about the hardware with this phone is just the overall feel is just money. The stainless steel here puts it above competitors. Not a lot of competitors are putting that on their phone, which just puts this phone a class above a lot of other smartphones. Now, also the weight of this device. Yes, it is a lot heavier than before. And if you like a light phone, just stay away from the Pro Max, maybe go with the Pro. Um, this phone right here just feels like a nice dense weight, which gives it a premium feel. I gotta be honest with you. The build quality is immaculate. There's like no scratches on nowhere, like out of the box. I've seen phones with scratches out of the box. Everything is just well put together, no creaking, no cracking. This phone is literally a notch removal away from maybe a perfect smartphone, at least in this form factor. Or maybe just throw in a fourth camera for depth sensing and then it looks a little bit more clean than having one in the middle there. Um, right here, but I've gotten used to these cameras and I gotta say that I kind of like them because they do have like nice stainless steel around them Which which makes me feel like it's a little more protected. I know they will still crack I've seen some videos of them cracking But I also like how they made this more flush with the body than before So this design is just money on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and also the flat display the ergonomics of it also feels comfortable in the hand You don't have accidental presses on the side. So really nice stuff here Pro Max. Okay, so display. Now, my thing with the display is not that it features true tone, dark mode, as much as it is how bright this display gets with the Super Retina XDR. Now, this display is just extremely bright and it has a big range of that. So, whether you need a lot of brightness or you need very little brightness day to day, this has been very enjoyable and I feel like very comfortable with knowing that any environment I'm in, I got a nice range to play with there and that gives it a feeling that you know I got what I paid for here with this display okay and of course it's the cameras on this phone one thing I really liked about the iPhone 11 Pro Max is how seamlessly these triple cameras integrate together and what I mean by that is that they're the smoothest cameras I've seen with a wide-angle implementation this year in addition to that the results that come out of each of them look like it came from the same camera lens which is pretty awesome and it's pretty nice that Apple was able to pull that off. A lot of phones when you switch between the wide angle it looks a lot different from the standard wide and it looks a lot different from the telephoto but with this phone everyone you're on ultra wide regular wide or telephoto it looks like you didn't even switch between the lenses you just got different angles of that picture. I will say the ultra wide is a little bit noisier sometimes but still like the overall accuracy and the color pretty much matches up very nicely. Now, if you guys haven't seen any Pro Max videos on my channel, you want to see some photo samples, go check out my full review. I'll leave a link up here or my video test. I'll also leave a link up here. Okay, so let's talk about the selfie camera. What's up, guys? Um, yeah, you're seeing I'm shooting on the 11 Pro, and that's not the Pro Max. This is the small 
Pro. This is the Pro Max you're seeing right here. I am being helped by these studio lights right here, soft boxes that do give you a really beautiful looking image here. But the cameras themselves are so good that I trust it to do a great job here. For the Pro or Pro Max, so you can kind of get an idea of the video quality. This is the highest 4K 60 as well. But back to the selfie camera, I like how you can go wide here and just the improvements to it. The video quality, everything is just really fantastic for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So that's one of the reasons why I've come to love this one as well is the major improvements to the selfie camera, which allows you to get really good video and photo from the front if you're a one man band and you don't wanna you know, make a video this way where you're not seeing what you're looking at right here for the device. So this might seem like a relatively small one, but just the speed of the Bluetooth connections is insanely fast here for 11 Pro Max. I noticed it just connecting incredibly fast, which I do like uh, when things do that, especially considering we don't have a headphone jack no more. Having extremely fast Bluetooth connections is very useful. Now talking about Face ID, I gotta say that after using this phone for a while, it's still not perfect, but it is improved. I actually had it face down on the floor yesterday, getting ready to charge it. I looked over at it from a weird angle and it opened. And I was like, wow, that's actually improved. So like you can put it on a strange angle like that right there, and it'll still unlock. Now, if you go too extreme, it might still see you, but if you go really extreme, that's where it won't find you, but right there. Now, usually in the past, you would have to like go like that just for it to see you. So you can see the angles are improved for Pro Max, and that's another reason why I've come to love the face unlock here for the device. So I could have make a video about this phone without talking about the battery. Now this goes, the battery I'm talking about here goes for the smaller Pro as well. It's also extremely, impressive both of these phones are getting well over six to seven hours of on-screen time but this one's pushing almost 10 on the 11 pro max my battery has to still at 100 because it's a newer phone but seriously the battery i was using this phone all day non-stop from about 2 p.m i charged it up and i woke up this morning i still had 68 percent like i could have went a whole nother day i did decide to charge it up a little bit just because i wanted to but I wouldn't have had to. I could have got through another full day on the battery. So this phone can go two days without charging if you want it. You are gonna deplete it down to where you might cycle the battery once, but still, I mean, the fact that you can go that long is very impressive. So battery life, this is hard to put down this phone when you have other phones just cannot reach this level of stamina as the Pro Max. And adding to the battery life, the fast charging was also pleasant to use just going to the iPhone after 20 minutes of charging and seeing it up 20% is just a lot better than before when I would go back and see it up 5% on that cheap little charge they used to include in the box. So this is a big update having fast charging on this phone. So in conclusion, I've come to love this device and I think if you're looking for a Pro or a Pro Max, you will too. Most of what I said does apply to the smaller one as well um, with this device. Now, this phone, like I say, is a notch removal away from being almost perfect. So a lot of people don't care about the notch and I still do just because there's other phones that don't have it. Not because it bothers me so much in reading on the phone and you know getting in the way too much. I've gotten used to it, but just because other phones side by side just look better um, without having that. So if they get rid of that, maybe they add an extra camera for depth sensing and we basically have a perfect phone here. I mean, they could even make the battery life better, but Nobody's complaining right now. So you can add 5G, maybe make the battery a little bit better and you have basically perfection. Um, I don't know if Apple can go any further than that without changing up the game in terms of their design, like maybe a folding iPhone or something just radically different. Now there's a lot of naysayers and haters that say that's not that much different. And you're right, it's not that much different from prior iPhones. But what you'd be wrong about is thinking that it's not an improved device because it's, and it's massively improving the camera and the battery and this textured back is pleasant to use when you've been using glass smudgy backs for a while. Now if you had something like an aluminum 6S, so an iPhone 7, then you're fine. This doesn't really matter. But if you had anything like a 10, an 8, an 8 plus, 10R, this is great to have here on the 11 Pro Max. Anyway, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you love the new Pro series? Are you more into the 11? Let us know down below. I made this video to give you an update on my experience with this phone. Maybe you're still in the market for it. It is pretty high demand, so I'm sure not everybody picked one up yet. Uh, but let me know what you're thinking. Are you gonna wait? You waiting for the S11? Are you waiting for next year's iPhone? Are you waiting? Are you waiting for that SE2 that's gonna look just like an iPhone 8? Let us know down below in the comment section. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.